Hello, it's me yet again. I'm out digging again. Have a look round here. Let me just have a pan round for you so you can have a look. Down there, there's a there's a waterfall down there. It's a big uh, mill pond over the over the wall at the top there. This is the mill house that was built in 1995. There's a, a gatehouse over there, and I'm back in this mill house garden. Now I did uh, I did find a few toys. I found some just over here, just beyond this tree. Um, I found the bison at the top up there by the wall last week, and I've come down to this end of the garden now. And my very first signal, I found something else toy related. Let me show you. I do believe that these are train wheels off a toy train. Now looking at the collar, because there's some green paint on it, you see that green paint in there? That's the same as Meccano. And that part that I found, that uh, funny looking wheel last week that I found up there near the bison, I do believe that that was Meccano as well also in this hole look at all this glass glass really sharp ceramics look at the point on that wow that's an edge and a half there I'm glad I had my gloves on <laughs> right let's see what else we can find in this lovely little garden well in that there hole we discovered this which is obviously part of an old drain yeah the old mill here was um, was demolished because it was so dilapidated and falling down well we've got a half decent signal here I think that might be it there oh yes another lid by the looks of it what have we got here it says you'll love Huntley's garden peas tooks <laughs> oh I'm, I'm miles away sorry guys it says you'll love Hartley's garden piece too. And on this side there's something else. I like the old lids, I found loads of them in this place. And McLean's toothpaste. It says pierce with a pin preserve. <laughs> Isn't that weird? That must be the lid off a jar of jam of some sort. And that's an advert on the inside of the lid. That must be Hartley's jam. Let's try again. <laughs> it's a doorknob. That's the second one of these I've found. I've got one exactly the same as that. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? I didn't live dig this one because it was such a crappy signal. And it turned out to be a nice little tin box. And it's got a name on it. It actually says on the top there, it says, look, space for name, made by, it looks like Cranbox Limited of Norwich, England, registered design and patent number on it. Here we go again. Not deep. <laughs> see thumbs in. Oh look at that. Oh it's a shame I squashed it a bit. Might even be a bit more of it in there. Although they don't look too clever. Look at that. Nice pattern. I'll tell you what it looks like in a minute. <laughs> we'll have to dig down and see if there's some more of it. It didn't seem to be a big signal and there's a great big thing. I think it's because it was on its side a bit like that. What that looks like to me is they used to push it rather than the door. I think that's what that might be. Bit of an old push plate off the door. Quite nicely patterned. Let's see if there's any more of it in there. Well, this is a fairly clean and consistent signal. So we'll give this one a go. Yeah, 
in the hole. Thought it would be. <laughs> There it is, whatever that is. That looks like a bit more toy. It's a bit more like a bit of toy again. It looks like it could be the back end of a train. <laughs> You've got a little tow hook there, look. We'll clean that up later. We'll have a look. Yes. A bit of a rubbish dump, I think. It's another one. It's another one. It's another horse. Look at the legless horse. <laughs> Let's give him a clean up. He looks very similar to the last one we had out of this bit. Let me get my brush. Come on, where are you? There it is. I've got a pocket full of trash so far, see? Yeah, he's not going to clean up too well. Not at the moment, anyway. There he is, a lead horse. I don't know if that recorded. <laughs> In there, I just found this. It's a, it's a very nice... I think it's a, a soldier's spare buttons. Because you got the lion and the unicorn with the crown above it, look. General service. And... You've also got the same thing but smaller, so that's a cuff button and a coat button, and they're on a ring together. So I do the battery on my camera is packed up, and I've got a spare, and that's dead as well. So I'm doing this on my phone. I found my first coin. I've been here ages. That's my first coin today. Oh, it's a George V, and you can see I scarred him. 1921. Next hole, please. And I've got another coin. I've just dug that uh, penny over there couple of steps and I've got a another penny but this time it's a new penny it's probably a, um, a good a copper one because it's not rotted next please three holes three coins big penny oh it's uh, <laughs> Queen Elizabeth II this one and it looks like 1967 it is 1967 well, I think I've found a bit of a hot spot here. There's two signals in here. Look, I've got... Oh, no, that's not a signal. That's rubber. But that big penny. Let's have a look at that one. Looks a bit odd. 1932, I believe it is. George V again, look. 1932. I don't know if you can see that all right. Right. I don't know what that rubber is, it's just a bit of rubber. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Had a lovely clean signal in this hole and it's a shotgun cartridge. <laughs> just the end of it. One of the old paper ones. There you go. It's not all coins, is it? Well, you can probably hear all the sheep they've actually got out of the field over there. And they're all in the car park round the corner. I'll show you in a minute if they're still there. Anyway, I've got another hole and I've got a spinner. This is a, a perch spinner really, the size of it, for catching perch. You could catch a pike on it, but uh, it's more uh, more aimed at perch. I think this is a MEPS one, this is. It hasn't actually got MEPS on it, but it's a copy of a MEPS. There you go. 
Let me show you all these sheep. I think a lot of them have gone round the back of the house now. See if I can zoom in a bit with this. There we go. That's as far as I can zoom in. They're all in the car park. They've been getting in because they broke down the fence just round the corner here. We see where they all are over there. They've had the fence down, didn't they? There's a load of them just round the corner here, I can hear them. There's the geese, think I'm going to feed them. I think I'm the security guard, see? Yeah, hey, up there's one, look. Leg in it. Mint sauce, mint sauce, you kids. Look. Come on, children. They're off. They saw me wellies and they started running. <laughs> Another hole. Another buckle. <laughs> well, a buckle. It's my first one today. It's a horse harness buckle, that one, because it's uh, made completely out of iron. It'd be a thick belt if it was a belt buckle, wouldn't it? <laughs> It's another modern copper penny. It was quite deep, look. About <laughs> seven or eight inches deep. There we go. Another modern copper penny. Well, it's my first one today, so I'm not going to complain. One nil, Steve. <laughs> Interesting little find I've had out of this hole. It says gin. I'm hoping it says gin. But it could say ginger if it was longer, wouldn't it? But it's definitely G-I-N at the start there, look. Gin, mmm. Gin and lemon, mmm. Well, another hole. Another oil can lid. As you can see, it says Duckham's. Probably 2050. Mmm. <laughs> Oh well, let's carry on. Next, please. Well, another hole. Bit of an impression there. Bit of an impression there. And it's a penny. Another copper one. On we go. Next, please. Well, out of this hole here, I've just pulled an intriguing object. <laughs> and it's copper. But it's definitely got some markings on it. Oh, there's somebody standing there, I can see him. See him there. And there looks to be a bit of a bust there. A bit of a head. I'm going to have to clean this very nicely when I get out and have a good look. Yes, could be a Roman. We'll see. Well, you could be forgiven for thinking that this was a half penny, couldn't you? Hey, it's half penny size. Half penny colour, but it's a button. Look, <laughs> it's only a button, but I like buttons, as you know. Well, another coin shaped object, look, with a hole in the middle. <laughs> it's got a square hole this time. It might have a bit of uh, scribble on it. I shall have a look when I've cleaned it up. Move my finger out of the way of the lens. That does help, doesn't it? There we go. Well, I'm alongside this hedge. Now, the other side of this hedge, right down the other end, I found the De Centimes, the two French P. In this hole here, I found a musket ball. And it's one that's been fired. He's hit something. Not too hard, but if you think about it, this from up here, look, you've got this bit up here and all the way down there. That'd make a great rifle range, wouldn't it? <laughs> a great rifle range. There you go. Musket ball. Well, actually, pistol ball, I should have said. Pistol ball. There he is. Well, I've got another hole, a double hole, as you can see. We've got a bit of a coin spill. Sadly, it's 20 P's. Two twenty p's, one here, one there. <laughs> Two twenty p's. 
Yay, it's a pound coin. Yeah, I like pound coins. It's an old one, but who cares? A pound's a pound. <laughs> In a previous video, I showed you a big garden roller. This one's only about half the size of that one. You still wouldn't want that on your foot, would you? Eh? There's my foot, size 12. <laughs> what does it say? It says, T Green and Son, Leeds and London. And it's got like a Welsh dragon in the middle, hasn't it? Yeah, nice bit of kit there. This is going to be my last hole, and it's quite deep, about 10 inches down. I found this. <laughs> it's the screw top for a 45 gallon drill, and it says 75 at the top. This is Trishua, a registered trademark PSP, made in England, patented in various countries. 